let's try another example of returning wall. The question is similar to the previous video. However, the elevations of your construction site and the adjacent load swap. This will give you another different scenario of a retaining wall. You are asked to propose arrangement of the retaining wall, sketch the free body diagram of forces, identify the potential mode of failure, outline the equations to evaluate the stability of the retaining wall, identify the favorable and non-favorable forces, and also sketch the arrangement of the reinforcement bar and weight hold. You may pause the video for a while for you to work out the solution. First, propose arrangement of the retaining wall. The load boundary is here. The adjacent loads have the elevations lower than your construction site. In this case, you can utilize the backfill of the soil in helping you in terms of the stability of the retaining wall. With that, the retaining wall may be arranged in this manner. As for the force acting on the retaining wall, there are surcharges, weight due to the soil, weight of the base, weight of the wall, Active pressure due to the surcharge, active pressure due to the earth, frictional force, and bearing stress. The possible mode of failure of retaining wall involve overturning, sliding, settlement, and also middle dirt, which is related to uplifting of the retaining wall. The equations used to check the instability of the retaining walls are given here. The moment resistance needs to be greater than the overturning moment. The factor of safety for the favorable moment needs to be reduced while the non-favorable moment needs to be increased. As for sliding resistance, the frictional force needs to be checked against the sliding force and the frictional force needs to be greater than sliding force. Again, the factor of safety for the favorable forces is to be smaller than the factor of safety for the unfavorable forces. Under favorable conditions, the QK cannot be considered. As for the settlement, the bearing resistance of the soil is to be checked against the bearing stress acting on the retaining wall. It needs to be greater than the stress. And it is calculated on basis of the factor of safety equals to 1. To check for the middle third, you may use the equation for eccentricity or the equations for the positions of load. Either one is applicable. The factor of safety is 1.0. Next, we list out all the forces acting on the retaining wall. Some are GK, which include the weight of the wall, weight of the base, weight of the soil, and also the active pressure due to the earth. While the others are QK, which include the surcharge, and also the active pressure due to the surcharge. When there is a backfill soil here, and when there is a surcharge here, these two are to be considered in the retaining wall system. The weight and the surcharge is found to be favorable for overturning and sliding analysis, but it is non-favorable for the settlement. As for the active pressure due to the surcharge and the earth, 
it is non favorable for all the cases. As for the reinforcement bar, double layer of reinforcement bar is to be provided both sides to maximize the performance of the members the depth are to be kept at the higher conditions with that the main reinforcement bar is to be located near to the concrete surface you will require anchorage length to ensure the continuity between the base and the wall of the retaining wall weak hole is to be provided at the near to the bottom side of the retaining wall it is used to discharge the groundwater out of the backfill soil and you will require the rubber layer in order to allow the water from the backfill soil to flow into and to be diverted out of the retaining wall